So, Remy, Junshin, Ash, thank you so much for taking some time to chat with me today. Uh, the purpose of this conversation is to give anyone watching some insight into the engineering productivity team here, here at GitLab. Uh, before we start off, it'd be good to begin with some intros. Ash, do you mind going first? Sure. Uh, hello, I'm Ash. Um, I've been at GitLab for four years, about a, just over a week ago, so not, not too uh, far away from an anniversary. Um, I am in the GDK team, I suppose, team of one right now, if, um, but it's part of the engineering productivity team, but I focus on the GDK, which is a GitLab development kit. Um, I've been doing that for almost two years or just over two years now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's recently in the last few months um, moved under the engineering productivity team. So it's sort of a recent addition, but I've been working on it for quite a few years. Awesome. Thanks so much. And Jen Xin, same to you. Hi, I'm Jen Xin and I'm located in Taiwan. I've been here for five years. Uh, I have been working on various of things and especially for triage of mostly recently. And there are also other, a lot of things we are working on like pipelines and, and developer tools and things like that. Perfect, perfect. And we'll talk about those in a little bit more detail soon. And uh, Remy, finally to you uh, for intro. Yeah, thanks. Um, hi, I'm Remy. Um, I'm a staff backend engineer in the engineering productivity team. Uh, I've been at GitLab since 2016, so it's been a bit more than six years uh, now. Um, I also like managed uh, the team a bit during one year and a half. Um, and uh, yeah, same as Jen's been uh, focusing on pipelines, uh, automation, tooling uh, to increase internal and community productivity, basically. Perfect, perfect. Well, yeah, Remy, as you've been here so long, I'd love to understand the exciting project that you've worked on. And to keep it relevant, it'd be great if you could hear if I could hear about one that's occurred within the last six months. And so, yeah, do you mind just giving me some insight? Yeah, sure. Um, so there's one project that's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, it's uh, we call it uh, Triage Ops, and it's uh, a project uh, to uh, manage all our uh, triage operation. Uh, and this is uh, <clears throat> basically a, a web service that reacts um, <clears throat> upon um, events that happens in our main uh, GitLab org group in GitLab. And this is using webhooks as uh, you, can, you can use um, as part of the GitLab product. And basically we have a list of processors that are interested in um, in events, uh, in specific events, and they, they can all act uh, on the events as they, as they um, want. And, um, and we, so what's exciting is that um, we iterate uh, quickly on this service. We can add uh, new processors very easily. Uh, our goal is to really kind of build a, uh, let's say a framework for other teams to build their own processors um, based on their needs. And um, uh, another thing that's exciting is that we managed uh, the infrastructure of this project uh, through Terraform. Uh, it's deployed as a Kubernetes cluster. Um, we also added uh, monitoring to ensure monitoring and alerts, I would say, to ensure that it's healthy. And um, so this is an internal project um, because our team uh, goal is to really increase the, our own uh, productivity, uh, GitLab teams productivity, as well as um, uh, the wider community uh, contributors productivity. Um, but the ultimate goal is to actually integrate that into the, the GitLab product itself. That would be really the end goal and that's um, in the past, that's uh, what we've also done in this team. We build, we start to build internal tools, and then uh, we we team up with product teams to integrate that into the product um, based on what we've done and on the needs. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty exciting uh, project, and um, hopefully that will give us the opportunity to work with yeah product teams 
um, to also integrate that. Perfect, perfect. So, thanks so much for sharing, Remy. Sounds really does sound exciting. And there, Jen Sheen, as you are aware, and everyone on this call is aware, our, our values here at GitLab are really important to us. They guide our interactions and are implicitly and explicitly present in um, many parts of my day. Um, I'd love to hear about a time that you saw our values in action in, in, in your team. Yeah, so the best part I like is that uh, we, we have less silos that uh, everyone can work on the same thing and and when something someone have a scheduled vacations and they need to move on and not move on take, take a vacations and others can just take over what they they did in half and continue continue working on it so the progress won't stop and then the the one from vacation back can can take it back and continue for, from, from where it's left. And it's it's moving pretty smoothly to, to my experience because everything is written on, on the side by uh, all the progress and all the, all the things we discuss during the progress. And it's quite easy to catch up even when we probably, uh, when, when the one taking it up probably doesn't know much beforehand, just read through all everything and, and they can catch up. For sure, for so, sure. <laughs> yeah, that, that, so, culture, that culture of documentation is strong here. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yep, and, and that's the best part I like here because I, I can feel easy to take off and, and it's also pretty exciting to, to continue from where it is, it feels like uh we are all working toward the, the tourist single and everyone contributing us in some of the way doing it so it's like part of uh, something great <laughs> yeah for sure for sure it, the, how collaborative the team here at get lab is one of my favorite parts about working here as well and um yeah what's an upcoming project that you've got coming up that's that you're looking forward to working on Genshin? yeah and Continuing with what Remy said with uh, tree age ops, and I'm re really looking forward to integrate this into the product itself because for now it's more like a standalone project which run on itself. And in order to get there, there's a lot of things we need to do. Like for now, it, we need to write scripts so it can so it's more harder for 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 like managers. It's it's more a work for programmer which writes script. And to, to ease the, the, the difficulty, uh, we, we want to move it to be configuration based so people can write the rules in simpler language and just line by line and, and it will complete the work. And of course, that means that it's less flexible because it's no longer script. So, I think it's it's also important to have a way to extend it so that like for example we can still write plugins to and that that will be script and then in the configuration can call that plugin and it, things will be easier from there. And in triage ops there are two parts. One is reactive part which runs in real time, and the other part is scheduled pipeline which which like we can run every Monday or something like that. And for that schedule part, we already have a plugin system and it's also already configuration based. It's the reactive part, which doesn't have all this yet. And it would be nice that it can move to configuration based, just like the schedule part. And if maybe they can somehow share the configuration, I don't know yet because one is scheduled and the other one is real time. They, they might have combination difference that it's hard to share the configuration, but still it would be nice to move to configuration base and could be extended by plugins and then it will be probably be easier to integrate into the product because then we can have a like project setting page and people can use the ui to to put things in instead of writing actual codes and push somewhere that, that would be so much more technical awesome really does sound exciting 
And Ash, to you. So just extending on my intro, uh, so the GDK, the GitLab development kit is the, the recommended um, tool to make contributions and changes to the GitLab product. Our engineers and, and other folk use it as well as uh, lots of community people. Um, yeah, it's, there's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, I'm really looking forward to um, improving the, the speed at which it takes or how long it takes to install and update. Um, as it's a development kit, it has lots of uh, software that needs to be installed and updated, um, and that can be time consuming. Um, so uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of room for improvement in terms of uh, speed there. And it's an interesting project, or at least an interesting piece of work to, um, to, uh, to, to tackle that challenge by um, you know, compiling some of these packages ahead of time into binary formats, which um, you know, there are systems out there that do it already, but they don't quite cover the spectrum of what we require. So looking forward to um, actually finishing that off because I'm, I'm working on it right now. Um, and as a sort of relative newcomer to the EP team, um, I've had a little bit of exposure to triage ops, but um, more so recently. So I'm looking forward to being a little more involved there because um, I'm becoming quite familiar with the, the code base, which is, which is good. Um, yeah, and I'm also looking forward to um, you know, the team growing, which is uh, that, that prospect is very exciting. Awesome. Well, everyone, thank you so much for taking some time to talk to me today. I know I've learned a lot as well, and um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, evening and night, whatever's left, left of it. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks for that. Thank you. Bye. Take care.